pretend What does perfect even mean? Is there even such a thing? Oh, can we switch up all the rules? And imagine a utopia Darling, I'm just so fed up with these expectations Hi guys, it's me. So today we're going to do a makeup hack. The makeup hack today is going to be solely focused on the MAC paint pot. Now I know you can also use the NYX little paint pots that they have too. I know they have a white one and they have a um, skin uh, tone colored one as well. But today we're going to show you what you can do with your paint pot. Paint pot. Paint pot. Besides just priming your eyes. So if you want to know how to do this, stay tuned and keep on watching. Okay, so hack number one. First, I'm going to put primer all over my face, which is this one, which I've already done. But sometimes my face, for whatever reason, has patches or like these dry spots or just spots that the skin just doesn't want to let the foundation adhere to it, whether it's primer or not. So this is where the hack comes in. I like to use Max Paint Pots. Now, I know it sounds really weird. It is a primer for the eyelid, like everyone knows, but I like to use this under the eyes mainly. This is laying low. That's This is a lighter color. That's why I like to use it under the eyes. If I'm doing the rest of my face, like if I see there's a part that's just not adhering, I would go in um, with laying low. Laying low is a lot more darker. It's a lot more tan. And I did have paint early. I don't know what I did with it. Maybe I left it at my mom's or something. But that one is more muted. It's not as warm as laying low. But soft ochre is the one that I'm going to go with. So taking the tiniest, tiniest amount. You don't need a lot. Like literally I'm barely dipping in there. And then you're just going to dab it on. Just like this very thin and very lightly just like that now for me it's usually um, right here in this little area and it's also on the tip of my nose if I put too much I could just kind of blend it out with my beauty blender a little bit like that and then I go ahead and just um, put a little bit here but I barely get anything on my brush and just to make sure it's smooth and it's pressed in and I got it in the areas that I need it I just go ahead and tap 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 okay I'm gonna take my foundation you can use a liquid foundation you can use a cream stick whatever you want today I'm gonna use my Barcelona not uh, medium four from uh, NARS and then I'm just gonna go ahead and just put that all over like I normally would And there you go guys, that's one of the hacks. And you can also put found, um, foundation, of course, uh, powder foundation too, um, or just translucent powder, but it definitely works. Okay guys, so hack number two is going to be the eyebrows with the paint pot. I'm going to use laying low for this one. So all you're going to do is just get just a little bit, just like a tiny, tiny bit, just like we do with our tart shape tape. And you're just going to use this to cut your brows. Now, um, this mattifies, so it's really easy for people who have like really oily skin to use this um, because it ensures that the eyebrows aren't going to move. Um, throughout the day and then it just blends into your primer for your eyes and just cutting the eyebrows shaping them up 
with this stuff. I already did this side just to show you what it looks like. I'm just grabbing a little bit more product on my hand. And then just go ahead going in. Sorry, I'm just trying to figure out a way for you guys to see it as I'm doing it. And I just blend this up a little bit, and then I also start to like just blend this down into the eyelids. Now, if you have no nails, you can do this with your fingers, like just smudging this part. And then you're just going to add your powder, your normal powder that you would normally use. So I'm just going to go in with this. Just like that. Voila! And that's hack number two with the paint pot. Okay guys, so hack number three for the paint pot. So, have you ever had a really hard time doing your eyeliner and getting them even? This is where the paint pot helps me a lot as well because I also have those challenges. Whether if it's an eyeliner that's gel or whether if it's an eyeliner that's um, just a pencil or liquid, um, this one totally works for that. So, I'm going to go ahead and get the soft ochre. And so, what you're going to do is just get something that's kind of flat like this and you're just going to get a little bit of product on here and then you're going to create a guide so look at um, how you want your wing to go so you're going to create that guide for your liner so for me I just kind of tap like this And there is the guide for that one. Now I go ahead and dip just a little bit more and try to do the same thing on the other side. So I just keep kind of looking. And you're kind of like tapping but swiping just a tad bit and just going slowly. And then as you can see, this one is a little bit higher than this one, so I just kind of go, okay, well, that didn't, that's not exactly what I wanted. So then I kind of blend out just a little bit and see how it disappears really quick. So you're going to go ahead in again, or I'm going to go in again, and look at the angle, and then I'm like, okay, so it has to go up just a little bit more than the other one did. Tapping and swiping. And you can go ahead and get more product if you think you need more. And I think that that is the right angle, just like that. Then I'm going to go in with whatever type of liner. So I'll do gel liner on this side, maybe I'll do it on the other side, I'm not sure yet. But I'm going to go ahead with my Inglot number 77, it's like the blackest black that you can get as far as liners go. And this is my Morphe M250. Getting that flat on the brush there, making sure that I have no clumpy parts. And then I'm just going to go ahead and start just doing this really slow. And just dragging it out like that. And then once I get to here, I already know exactly where I want the liner to go. And 
using that as a guideline. And make sure your brush is really fine so you can get that really, really fine detail, thin detail. And so I'm just going really slow and just pulling and connecting as I go. See? It creates that guideline for me. I'm a little bit more confident. I'm going to go in. Give me an effort. Not worrying about going in with gels. It's not as crisp as going in with like a liquid. So for me, I have to go a lot back and forth. Or... Sometimes I'll just put a liquid on top. Just like by the edge so that I get that crispness. Crisp. Christmas crispness. <laughs> and just like that. Now I'm going to do the other side. Might as well do it with the same type of liner. And then following the guide again. And then there you go. They're pretty much even, as even as they can be. And this absolutely just helps me. Um, also, you can take your paint pot too. Let's say you made a mistake, like right here. I just have like this little itty bitty area that's just not smooth right there. It's just a little bump. I'll just take a little bit of my laying low or soft ochre, whichever one I want to go with. Um, let's do. Actually, I should probably do soft ochre. And then I'll just go in and it kind of crisps it up a little bit. See? Kind of gets rid of it. So you can definitely do that too. Now, paint pots are my absolute favorite just because they're so versatile. I know that um, MAC always promotes them more as just a primer just for your eyes, but literally you can use them for anything. So, with that said, if you have any other questions about primers, I'm not sure if you can do this with any other primers. I know you could do it with the NYX ones that are similar to these paint pots. Um, but I, I really haven't tried it with any other paint pots, but I know Mac specifically, you can definitely pr um, help prime your face, your eyes, help with guiding um, your eyeliner. But yeah, I hope you like this um, makeup hack. I'm going to do a couple different ones um, during the month of September. But if you have any other questions, please let me know down below. Comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Honey, I'm what does perfect even mean? Is there even such a thing? Oh, ooh. can we switch up all the rules? And imagine a utopia a Darling, I'm just so fed up with these expectations They keep weighing me down